Thanks, Adam. And I'm here with Rachel Daigle from the Boise Weekly with our weekend happenings. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So what do you have first up for us? Well, we might as well go chronologically, right? Sure. So tomorrow night, Thursday, at the Egyptian Theater, uh, there's a documentary called um, Hot Coffee, and it's a documentary about tort reform. What does that even mean? Well, I guarantee a few people just fell asleep. Yes. You want me to watch a documentary, and you want me to watch a documentary about tort reform? Right. Are you crazy? What? I have better things to do. I have to wash my hair. <laughs> um, well, uh, so do you remember the woman who sued McDonald's over a cup of hot coffee? Right, yes. And they put the warning label on coffee. Right. So this is where that documentary starts. Um, and really, it walks you through tort reform. And, and um, yeah. I'm just going to say, I've seen it. It's great. I highly yeah. recommend it. It's a free showing tomorrow night. Okay. Um, so check it out at the Egyptian Theater. And if you really don't like it, it was free. So so not a big deal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. But you will, you will find it educational and entertaining. All right. so. Any interest in law might be great. Even if you're not interested in law, it, it's about frivolous lawsuits. Um, and like I said, it, it's, it does start out with the woman who um, was burned badly by this cup of coffee. And yeah. I guarantee that you don't know the real story if you haven't seen this, this ah, movie. Ah, okay. All right. So what else do you have for us? Oh, let's see. Saturday, I've got a bike swap. What is it? What's a bike swap? Well, we love our bikes here in the Treasure Valley. So uh, I hear. <laughs> um, and, you know, some of us have a few bikes we need to get rid of or, you know, we collect oh, parts. So you um, can trade them or buy I'm, stuff? Yes. I'm not saying I'm guilty here, but I do own several bikes. Um, oh. I should probably get rid of one of my you, bikes. Yeah, but maybe take bike's one fun. in. All right. Uh, so you can, uh, you can pay $10 and they'll sell a bike for you in the corral. Or if you have a lot of bits and pieces to get rid of, uh, you can rent a table for $30 and... Uh, Get rid of some stuff. And tune up for spring. Mm -hmm. All and right. that happens uh, Saturday night to 3 at the Cole Village Shopping Center over on Cole Road. Okay. Um, let's see, what's going on Sunday? I've got, um, well, I've got something very cool, the Idaho State Historical Museum. Um, it's called What It's Worth. Have you, have you seen Antiques Roadshow? I have seen. I have seen that. So this is like a local version of that. You can, maybe you've got a painting sitting in the back of your closet ah. that, you know, Grandma left to you. Uh, maybe right. you've got a vase you picked up at the... Uh, um, you know, the thrift store, you can take it in, have it appraised, and who knows, maybe you're sitting on, you know, like a $20,000 vase, you don't even know. Yeah, who knows, those garage sale purchases might pan out for you. They just might. <laughs> uh, and and the, you've got the Boise Philharmonic as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a great month for, for the fine arts. Um, Bally, Idaho, Trey McIntyre, Opera, Idaho, yeah. they've all done their thing this month. Um, and now the Boise Philharmonic takes the stage with a violinist, the soloist, who is only 19 years old. Wow. Her name is Carolyn Goulding, she's from Boston. Um, and at 19, very impressive that That's she's going to. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being here, Rachel. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you next weekend.